The Dinelli Cichlid Veggie Food, a complete food for herbivore cichlids. But what does it taste like? Aquarium Shed do not encourage eating fish food and take no responsibility for any harm caused by emulating this video. Ready PG may not be suitable for under -its. Welcome back everybody. Uh, so when researching my new dwarf embuna, I did a lot of research about what to feed them and I settled on the Dinero Cichlid Veggie Food. It's a two millimeter sinking pellet um, that has no fish meal or artificial flavorings. Now I'd spent big on these fish and the last thing I want to do is feed them rubbish. This is even more important with dwarf embuna because um, although they can withstand a little bit of fish meal, um, if they had too much in their diet, then they could suffer from bloat and it would not be good for them at all and ultimately they could die. Um, so it's important to give them a very high quality and mostly vegetarian diet. Now first things first, these guys love this food. It sinks to the bottom for them, which is great because they're a rock dwelling embuna. Um, some of the braver fish do come straight to the top and grab some, um, but then it sinks very quickly and everyone gets a little bite. Um, they evidently really love it. And to read the ingredients list, it's obviously quite a high quality product. So it got me thinking, what does it taste like? Now, when you read the uh, ingredients list, it sounds a little bit like something you might find in a health food shop, uh, like Holland and Barrett in the UK. So uh, first things first, a vegetable glycerine. Okay, not a great start. Kale, 13.5%. I mean, I love a little bit of kale. Wheat flour and wheat protein, nah, not the greatest, I suppose. Spinach, 9.8%. I love myself a bit of spinach. Maize, a little bit boring. Uh, shrimp, love a bit of shrimp. Brewer's yeast, I love a beer. Salmon oil, I love salmon. Stinging nettles, interesting. Water fleas, I'll try anything once. Garlic, yum. Moringa olifera, I mean, you know, I'll give it a go. Freshwater crayfish, yeah, sounds pretty good to me. Chicory inulin, that does sound a little bit like a medication. Minerals, mm, that's pretty vague. But um, minerals has got to be good, right? Spirulina. Well, I have got a bristlenose plecker in here and he loves a bit of spirulina, so that's all good. Uh, Melissa. Now, I'm hoping this isn't Melissa a woman and is some sort of, you know, health food thing. But yeah, there's some Melissa in here. Fennel. Love a bit of fennel. Chlorella. Now, that does sound a little bit like a disease, maybe a disease that's cured by chicory inulin. Uh, aniseed. I love myself a bit of Sambuca, grapeseed flour, love myself some wine. So far we've definitely got beer, Sambuca and wine covered off. Artemia, Artemia, I think that might be an insect, but again, I'll give anything a go. Green-lipped mussel, I mean, whenever I'm eating mussels, I do always ask that they are green-lipped. Manan oligosaccharides, or Manan oligosaccharides. I mean, if you can't pronounce it, it must taste good, right? B. glucans. Doesn't sound the greatest. Rosemary extract? Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking roast potatoes. So, like, 75% of that sounds pretty good, right? Like I said, I probably wouldn't be surprised to find a list like that in a product on uh, Holland and Barrett in a health food shop. So, you know, why not give it a go? So, it's the first time I'm trying this. Uh, Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> I had my mug here and I was going to do a shot where I like spat it out in disgust and that was kind of how I thought the video would end. <laughs> it actually tastes quite good. Um, God, I didn't think I'd have to get to this part where I described what it tastes like. Um, it's very earthy. It's very green. It tastes a little bit like, I imagine like green tea would taste like if you chewed on it. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's quite nice. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be against eating that. Apart from the fact that it's probably not great for me to try all those ingredients all the time and it is a fish food, not a human food, but I can see what the fish like it. It's got a lot of flavor. It's, it really stands out. I would definitely think that when that's put in the tank, they would sense that it was there. They'd smell it was there. Or, you know, they, they would know it was there. It's got a lot about it. 
Yeah, definitely the garlic's coming through. It's like green grassy garlic. That's how I describe it. The Dinerli Cichlid Veggie Food. Green grassy garlic. Mmm, enjoy. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I might do a spitting out shot just to finish this video up because, uh, you know, this is what I was imagining it would be like. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Um, anyway, so yeah, it, it does actually taste great and the fish love it. The fish would love it even more if you would hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to see more videos, some as stupid as this, some more entertaining, some more interesting, but every week on a Tuesday, a new video. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Oh. <laughs>